How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect a Nintendo Switch Pro controller to your PC. We'll be able to use the controller wirelessly through Bluetooth or wired through the USB cable. The method that we're going to be using in this tutorial uses Steam to give your controller functionality in game. The Steam method works best when playing Steam games, but it also does work for non-Steam games. However, if you are going to be playing non-Steam games, the uh, controller can become a little bit finicky. So I will make another video with a better method of using the Switch Pro controller on a PC with non-Steam games. To begin, we first need to connect the controller to the PC. I'll first show you how to connect the Pro controller to the PC using the USB cable. For the most part, this is pretty straightforward. Take any USB Type-C cable, preferably the one that came with your controller, but any USB Type-C cable should work just fine. Plug one end of the cable into your PC, then take the Type-C end of the cable and plug it into the top of the controller. You'll see an orange LED lit up on the top of the controller, and this just means that the controller is connected to the PC and it is charging. And that's really all there is to it to connecting the Switch Pro controller to your PC with the USB cable. Now I'll show you how to connect the Switch Pro controller to your PC through Bluetooth. First head to the start menu and open up Windows settings. Once the settings window has opened, click on the Bluetooth and devices tab. First make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. And after that, click on Add a Device. An Add a Device window will appear. Click on Bluetooth, and Windows will begin to look for Bluetooth devices that can connect to it. Next, head over to the Pro Controller and press and hold the small sync button on the top of the controller. It can be a little bit hard to press. Just hold the sync button down until the player slot LEDs on the bottom of the controller start to cycle. Once the LEDs start to cycle, the controller is looking for devices to be paired with. Now back on the Add a Device window on your PC, the Pro Controller should be found and listed on screen. Go ahead and click on it to connect the controller to your PC. After a few seconds, the Pro Controller should be successfully connected and paired with the PC, and the Player 1 icon on the controller should be lit up. You can now close out of the Add a Device window along with the Windows settings. Now that we have our controller connected to our PC, whether that is through Bluetooth or the USB cable, we now need to open up Steam and configure our controller in order for it to work in-game. In this video, I'm going to assume that you already have Steam downloaded and installed and that you already have an account, but if you don't, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can download Steam and make an account. So go ahead and open up Steam, and once Steam is open, head to the top left hand corner and click on the Steam button, and then click on Settings. This will open up the Steam settings. Next, click on the controller tab, and then click on the general controller settings button to open up Steam's controller settings. Under detected controllers, you should already see your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller listed. And now really all we need to do in order for our controller to work in game is to check Switch configuration support. You can also choose to check use Nintendo button layout to swap the A and B buttons and the X and Y buttons so that the controls in game match the button icons shown on screen. I'm going to leave this unchecked for this tutorial. Next, we can click on the Switch Pro Controller and click on Preferences to tweak a few settings with the controller. First, you can change the controller's name within Steam to prevent any confusion if you have multiple Switch Pro Controllers connected to your computer. Additionally, you can choose to turn haptic feedback and rumble off if you would like. You can also choose to turn the player slot LEDs off or on only if you have multiple controllers connected, but I couldn't seem to get this to work. And finally, you can adjust the brightness of the blue LED around the home button. And once you're done configuring your controller, click on submit. You can press the identify button to have your controller vibrate so you know which controller is which if you have multiple connected. You can also calibrate your controller to adjust the stick dead zone if you experience joystick drift which you most likely will need to do because your controller is from Nintendo. However, I'm going to leave this at default and the way it is for this video. We are now done setting up the controller and we can close out of Steam settings. Now we can launch a game to test out our controller with. If you're going to be playing a non-Steam game, you need to launch it through Steam in order for the controller to work. To add a non-Steam game to Steam, click on the library tab and in the bottom left hand corner, click on add a game, then choose add a non-Steam game. A window with a list of all the programs you have installed on your computer will appear and you'll need to look through the list to find the game that you want to add to Steam and check the box beside it to select it. If you cannot find your game in the list, click on the browse button to search your computer for the executable for the game and open it. When you have the game you want to add to Steam selected, click on add selected programs. 
For this example, I'll be testing out the controller in GTA 5, which is a Steam game. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Now that I'm at the main menu, I can use the left stick to navigate it. And I can press the B button to select story mode. And now that I'm in game, I can accelerate a car with ZR or ZR if you're American. Uh, I can brake with ZL. I can steer the car with the left stick and look around with the right stick. I can get out with the X button. I can sprint with the B button, jump with Y, and everything here is working perfectly fine. The controller has no lag and everything is running pretty smoothly. And one final thing to keep in mind when using the Switch Pro controller on the PC is that most games will use the Xbox controller layout by default, as the Xbox controller is native to the PC. So if the game asks you to press the A button, you'll actually need to press the B button to perform that action. However, if you check Use Nintendo Button Layout in the Steam Controller settings, the A and B buttons and the X and Y buttons will be flipped, and the button icons on screen will correspond with the button you need to press on the controller. Finally, if you're done using the Pro Controller over Bluetooth and want to turn it off, simply press the Sync button at the top of the controller. And since our controller is already paired with our PC, we can simply press any button to reconnect it. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like, and if it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.